The Banshees of Inu Sharon. This is a film on YouTube that I have heard a lot of good things about. The film never came in my area and I did get a chance to just watch it on HBO Max. Is the film any good? And do I agree with all your guys' opinions? Well, stick around and find out. Two lifelong friends find themselves at an impasse when one abruptly ends their relationship with alarming consequences for both of them. The film stars Colin Farrell, Brandon Gleason, Carrie Condon, Pat Short, and many others, and was directed by Martin McDonough, and he's done films like In Bruges, Seven Psychopaths, and Three Billboards Outside Eben, Missouri. So as I said in my intro, I heard a lot of good things about this film. It was not on my radar, but after the really good reviews, I decided I'm going to have to check out this film as it premiered on HBO Max this week. I thought the premise sounded like something that I could really relate to. I have had best friends in the past actually leave me for no reason, and I never knew why. And so the premise in this film is you have one guy that is played by Colin Farrell, he is actually abandoned by his friend and he doesn't really know why, but his friend basically doesn't want to be friends with him anymore because he wants to have a little bit more freedom and have a little bit of the spotlight. And he thinks by hanging out with him, he is basically a downer for him and he's not going to actually elevate him in his life. But the problem is this is in the 1920s and they're stuck on the coast here and they basically have a bar and they have a couple houses and there isn't really a lot for them to really do. So they're going to see each other and run into each other most of the time on this actual coast. I do like the initial premise. It sounded really interesting and I really like the cinematography as well. I believe this was filmed in Ireland, but I'm not particularly sure, but it looks really beautiful. The grass is really green. It looks like a place that I would really want to visit if I really wanted to go off the beaten path and just kind of get away from the big city life. The film is a very big slow burn kind of film. It's a lot of rinse and repeat. And I have to say that the dialogue is really hard to understand. There's a lot of points in this film where I really couldn't understand what they were saying. So I had to put subtitles on my TV. And even then, the thick accents were really tough to really understand. They also say this word feckling a lot. And I swear, they must say this word probably like a thousand times in the movie. So many times they are saying, You feckling me, brother! I can't even do the accent because I can't do a really good Irish accent. But they're saying that. Then they're going, You're rowing! You're rowing! And I'm just like, What the hell is this dialogue? It was definitely something that I really couldn't get into with the dialogue. And I'm telling you right now, if you go to watch this movie, you're going to have to have the subtitles on and turn up the volume really loud because honestly, they just seem like they're kind of mumbling throughout the script here. I found that the script, it really wasn't that powerful. Most of the time, it's these two guys. They basically are just fighting at the fact they both coexist. There's really not much for them to do. So they have a little bit of dark humor. So Colin Farrell's buddy that he used to be friends with, he says to him that if he keeps bothering him, he's going to do something about it. And, you know, they kind of fight and stuff. And, you know, that's pretty much the basis of the story. And they try to get back at each other. But I really just didn't feel like throughout the film that it really was all that interesting. The two adult men, they really can't communicate that well. I really felt that this film was gonna actually build up to something really big and we were gonna get some kind of life lesson out of this film, but it never goes there. It felt kind of uninspiring and it was trying to go in that comedy route, that dark comedy route, and I didn't laugh once in this film. The dialogue, it's kind of boring, it's kind of dull. There isn't really any other characters, and you're basically looking at two men that are just kind of grumpy and really are just fighting for really no reason at all, and it's just not a movie that really is very inspiring. It feels very pointless and it's basically just a character study between two characters that are really not that interesting to begin with. And even though I say that the acting in this is pretty good for what the script calls, and by the time the film actually wraps up, I just didn't feel any emotion towards the ending or really what was going on on screen. So I would give a score of this film a 2 out of 5. It's just a man kind of film, and I would not recommend watching this film. Did you like this film? Did you hate it? Was it kind of mad? Do you agree with my assessment of this film? Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll see you guys on my next review.